ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, welcome to... Wait, not kids. Jeez, this is the AFL Today Show Brownlow 2024 special. Of course, brought to you by the AFL Today Show partner, Top Sport, home of the footy finals. I'm your host. I'm all de- decked out. You can see this. I've just come off the red carpet. Andrew Dillon. Wait, no, I'm not. I can actually afford a haircut, apparently. I am... Top button stats guy. <laughs> three votes, Jay Clements. That's right, James Clements joining me for this... Oh, my God. Is Lucky Neil about to win three chazzes? No. Our local weirdos, full blown footy nuffs. Alex Donnelly over there. Just hold on. I've got to fix stats, guys. Can't I just yeah, you can fix me up. Yeah. Thanks, mate. You've got to look professional. To Someone fair, does. You, yeah, you didn't get the memo. That's I okay. said I'm wearing Sydney garb all week. Yeah. He was wearing a red dress before we sat down, so I don't That's know why true, he yeah. took it off and changed yeah. again. It's weird. Mm. He was the stunner of the red carpet. My legs <laughs> Absolute can do it. Beck Judd-esque. Watch Beck out. Judd. Uh, be a... In the middle, it's a little fella. He's dressed up as well. Yes. That's boy. Brought the bow tie out. Only bring this out for special occasions, our awards show, we've got the Brownlow show, so let's do it. You do look like you're about to be the page boy at Alex Donnelly's <laughs> wedding. Oh my God. He, you can't be wearing that at a wedding. I don't, yeah, what, what, what are you talking about? Why not? It's, it is his anniversary, so why also, not? Also, I said, I'd yeah. love to see you at the Brownlow just with your NBA Australia top jacket. That would just be yeah, very fun. I, I loved spending my anniversary with you guys yesterday. Uh, shout out to my lovely partner, Steph, who got the best anniversary present of all time. No, Alex. Oh, well, two AFL Today shows. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Three votes. <laughs> Her. Right. <laughs> Subscribe to the AFL Today Show YouTube channel. You get all the good stuff. Of course, get around it on the old socials as well. Yep. Plenty of fun stuff there. Aussie rules today on the old facey. Right. The Brownlow. The 2024. I love it. How, look, I love the Brownlow more than most things. It involves counting. <laughs> <laughs> it is, involves, that, is that what the is, is it? It involves drinking. Yep. And it involves... I don't know, just highlights. Lots of cool, fun highlights. But most of all, what I do love is anytime you can whip out the deep voice, it was a year in 2024 when Bailey Smith was busted on camera doing things. Joel Smith was run out of the game. And like you just have like the, the season summation at the start and then you have the round-by-round round summation. It is cool, yeah. I love a summation. I'm a simple man. Remind me of all the things. And that's what they do. Yep. They constantly remind you, this is what happened in this round. And you're like, oh, geez, I remember that. Kind of, like, maybe a little bit. It's awesome, right? Yep. So the best thing about it, however, is the betting. Yeah. That's why we're with Top Soul for this. Why not? It's my favorite thing with it. He's There's like, a lot to There are so on. many different markets. Yeah. We're going to go through a bunch of them. We're this is like through. Barney Stinson and How I Met Your Mother. He's like, how can I get the coin toss wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are my odds? Oh, about 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> but it's about. the best part. 2024 Brownlow. Let's set the stage. We have three rampaging favorites right now. Two, and then kind of like another one who can come from the clouds in Lockie Neal. Yep. Nick Zakos, who was leading up until, <clears throat> what, the final six? Well, round going, 20. Round 20 into the last round year. Then he got injured, obviously. He should have obviously round injured, but, uh, I think he led the way on 28 votes after round 18 last ah. year. Then failed to pull in his last six. Because he broke his knee or whatever it was. And he uh, didn't play in three of those final last games. So yep. <laughs> he won the Coaches Award this year, did Nick Dacos? Sure. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I, still don't I know mean, Isaac that. Heaney missed two games and lost by four votes. So. Yeah, Cripps. Yeah, it was 113 to 117 behind Dacos. Yep. Heen Man was on 112 anyway. Yeah. Patrick Cripps is the other one where he had been the rampaging favorite for basically the back half of this entire season. When Heaney got suspended. After Heaney got suspended, Cripps leaps into favoritism. Uh, the big questions are basically going to be whether or not Dacos has tracked him down, whether or not Lockie Neal tracks them both down. Yeah, his second half was amazing. Yeah. And how many, po- how many votes Isaac Heaney polls despite being rubbed out. So yeah, it's a pretty crazy situation because it does feel like it's those three, then Daylight. Yeah. Heaney could maybe have enough basically on board already to push into the top four, which we'll get to in the top four breakdowns. Uh, the big thing for me is that Lockie Neal comes home like a freight train, right? There's like eight possible three-vote games that he has after Brisbane's buy, like eight three-vote games in 12. Not bad. You could be sitting there going, oh, God. I don't think he's getting that many, He might not get all eight. That's a lot, yeah. But he could feasibly do that. Okay. So. It's going to be really close. Outside of that, we've got Caleb Sarong, Zach Butters, mm. Bont and Zeret lurking as well. Those sort of four are the next ones in that next tier. Yeah. Yep. But it does feel like it's those three, Heaney, then maybe Bont. Yep. Oh, I'd go Sarong and Merritt over Bont, but just because Sarong. they stand out in their team a bit more. Butters, 
slight dark horse to get in the top four, maybe, because mm. Port no had such, such a good run home, yeah. I think. He was just a little inconsistent, yeah. He also had like these moments where he just wasn't that good. But uh, how are we all sitting before we get into the club counts and then we get into our top fours and all the picks? Because, again, there are so many markets, it's pretty crazy. And we're going to go through each club because basically it's your best bet for who's going to top the count Handy for that for club. a multi as well. Always yeah. fun for the uh, multi. So yep. how do we feel heading into this, Alex? Uh, I feel like this is going to be, it's going to be Heaney just jumps out and he's just a mile in front. And then ever it'll be, there'll be some point like round no, like, <laughs> oh, are they going to catch him? Like, because he could be it that could be far, far in front. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, because he gets suspended, obviously. It's like, okay, we, we're looking below Heaney just to see if they, because no one wants... Isaac Heaney to top the vote count. Let's get that out of the way. It would feel incredibly hollow. Chris Grant in 1997? Yeah. Corey McKernan. Uh, yeah. McKernan. Yep. All right. Heaney probably has been, like the story of the year as far as players are concerned, he has been the player. No one wants him to top the voting count just because of that. No, you don't so, want, yeah. At least he, he's in a grand final and he doesn't have to worry as yeah. much, but yeah. He'd be sitting there, you'd still be going, oh, God damn it. Like, you'd be <laughs> feeling filthy about it. So I feel like this is going to be a really cool race between Cripps and Dacos. And then it's like, is Neil just, because at the start of the year, how bad both Collingwood and Brisbane were. So yeah. that'll be interesting to see how they poll in those early games. So that's exactly that's the why key. Neil it's, those, win, yeah. it's when Neil, uh, <coughs> when Neil won it last year, it's like, Oh, he got a vote there? Sure. It's when they get those random ones and twos, you probably don't exactly. think they should get. And I think that's the thing for Dacos this year because while the pies were bad early on, like can he still crank them out basically, yeah. right? If he's on about 10 votes by round eight or nine. So he could very, very easily be on about eight, I'd say yeah. by about round eight because mm -hmm. then he starts kicking into gear from round seven onwards yeah. and he could probably rip off two, three, two, three, two, three, basically until they hit their buy, which I think was in round 13. And then- Oh, no. Round 15, I think it was. Yeah. So there's like a bunch of games all sort of clumped together where he really kicks into the gear and then uses that as a launch pad for the back half of the yeah. season. The key on top of that as well, so you got to track those early votes for Dacos, you got to track the early votes for Neil. Neil, G, especially when they were two and five, yep. And then because both of them finish those last two games feasibly with three and three for Dacos, Neil with maybe a two and a three, maybe a three and a three, and Cripps. He goes 3 3. He goes 3. Yeah. And then in that loss to St. Kilda, he's getting three. he could still get two, maybe three. I reckon it's going to come down. It's going to come down to the last two rounds. Oh, we know the last game that's going to be yeah. read out for this count is St. Kilda versus Carlton. 100%. St. Kilda, Carlton. Ooh. One vote, <laughs> Jay Silvani. <laughs> no, the best part would be if, if Paddy Dow was still playing yeah, Carlton. P. Carlton, P. <laughs> oh. Down. That's the best. Like <laughs> that is the, my favorite thing of the Brown though is when there's a player like uh was like C Judd like C yeah. oh someone else or like when Dangerfield P oh it's not Dangerfield. So the problem thing. was with the Greens <coughs> playing for both GWs. You have to go Tom Green. Yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, that's no. say Tom Green. I do think that is hilarious that like that St Kilda Carlton one. Paddy Dow could actually kill Paddy Cripps' uh, <laughs> <laughs> like chances well, that is by not getting happening. a three vote. But imagine, if, imagine if Gillen just Gillen Dillon goes P. Dow, St Kilda. Yeah, that would be so funny. Just throw a curve. The other ball. thing is, I don't care what anyone says, the umpires have favourites. So yeah, We like, know. Like, Lockie Neal. Lockie Neal last is, year. Is, is a two-time Brownlow medalist. But so. Dacos, there the was a few he games. Won his first one. Exactly, even, he was fantastic. Even like, though he was on 28, there was one game he did nothing. He got yeah. three votes. So I'm still it annoys me with that. But, Errol yeah. didn't get three votes for 42 and two goals in the last round last year. Yeah. <laughs> it is chaos. So I think with those three, you've got – Plenty to sink your teeth into. And yep. then outside of that, you've got – when you look at Sarong, he could give mid-20s, upper-20s a bit of a push. Stupid, sexy Flanders. You could have the Bond. Anderson. Oh, no, Anderson, not Flanders. Anderson. I just got Anderson, Flanders on the brain. I think Anderson to top 20 is like still one of my favorite bets as well. But – We'll get into that. Let's well. get yeah, into let's it. Let's go yeah. to teams. Let's do it. The this club counts. Who great, goes great top for three for each of them? Mm -hmm. We can run through some of these very quickly. Adelaide, Jordan Dawson, Isaac Rankine, Rory Laird. Question mark? Uh, and yep. Keys. Oh, and Keys. Keys had because Keys had games Keys where he had to get three, three votes. So I, I'd be going Keys as well. Yeah. All right. Yep. Brisbane, Lockie Neal, huge McCluggage, <laughs> and Dane Zorko. I don't think Dunkley cracks that three. No, I've, no, he didn't have as much impact. He was still good, but yeah. they got I don't such think a good team. Does it either? I no. think Zorko top, uh, top small. So, the, so you'd go to Zorko in the uh, Neal out market. It's five dollars. Or no, I'd still go McCluggage. I think McCluggage. Okay. I still think gets over there. I think he had more impactful games. Yeah. Right? Uh, Cripps, Walsh, and Charlie. TDK. TDK for Carlton. TD. Oh. I'm TDK. Tom um, McCartney, before he got hurt, was the most 
yeah. important Carlton but player. But it's like, he missed be, a lot of games. It could be Crips on like, you know, 36 votes, 7 5. I'd be going Charlie, I think. Walsh could still have like a few bags. Stuff. Yeah. Charlie, I don't know. Just Harry's you know. not that far off either. He had a few good games, but probably not going to get too many yeah. votes. TDK is probably third. Walsh outside of Crips yeah. is the other one for Carlton. Yep. Collingwood. Dacus. Dacus. Other guys, well, who cares? Chris the Dacus. Darcy Cameron? Oh, yeah, that's not a bad shot. But just Ruckman just don't get any love in the brown line, well. which is Chris annoying. Pendles, I think Pendles could be a sneaky third one there. Like, yeah. like when one year everyone's like, oh, Grundy's going to get his votes, and then he didn't get many just because they don't like Ruckman. For some but, yeah, it's like it's crazy when you break it down. You go Nick Dacos, Josh Dacos, Chris Mark. Yep. Yeah, I'd say Chris, because even Dugowie's higher, like the fourth, but I don't think he was I can't remember anyway. Jordan Dugowie doing anything this year. Pendles? Is this I, I think Because he, he always po- polls well. He's one of the best. Um, and the emperor is living. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, Essendon. Zeret, obviously. Yeah. Martin. Nick Martin, too. Mm. That is my favorite. I just love that. He's like, yeah, outside of Zeret, Nick Martin's there. Then <laughs> for Essendon, it's like Sam Durham, Jack Caldwell. Caldwell. Mm. Cool. Yeah. That's a, that's a tough one as well. It's isn't a hard it? the top one for three. Essendon. Freo. It's the top three. They're best and fairest. It is. Bang, Caleb bang, bang. Strong, Andy Brayshaw, Hayden Young. Done. Okay, lock that in. Jordan Clark. No. Right there, but I, he's not better than either. Jordan I'm just Clark saying he'll be up like, If you can have an exact first four for Freo vote getters, bang, 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 bang. Yeah. It is. Umpires and looking at like Luke Ryan and uh, Jordan Clark kicking it back to him before. <laughs> Jordan Clark was watch. good off half back. <laughs> not on my watch, boys. Luke Ryan, 36 touches. Nah. Nah, not Luke Ryan. Yeah, I agree. Geelong is fascinating. Yeah, this, this is, is a, a hard really, one. really tough Every one. Every year it is because they just sort of – Jezza. Yeah. Jezza could be on. <laughs> Danger. Thomas Stewart missed a couple of games. Yeah. Also had a couple of down ones. I don't know. Thomas don't, Stewart make it? Like, what do you reckon? I don't mind Max Holmes at five bucks. I know because Jezza, the first half of the season, was pretty average. Didn't kick that many goals. He obviously fired up and won him games off his own boot. But Max Holmes, I think, was their most consistent player throughout the year. So. I'm going Jez. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, and, yeah, as mentioned, there are – so this is quite literally – the team, as we go through it, these are their top three in the odds. In the odds. Yep. So we'll see how they go. Gold Coast, my beloved Noah Anderson. He's 100% winning. He's this. a lock just because at home. Noah Every Anderson. game three votes at home. home. He's gotten three votes. Yeah. I the, the best game to like, because Top Sport are releasing round by round games. So the certain games. Go find that Gold Coast Geelong game where yeah. it was like 164, 100. Three votes. If you pick the th- no, if you pick the three, because didn't Lukosh just kick five? Lukosh Bailey Humphrey awesome. had 20 and four, yep. and Anderson had a stack of the ball. And but Noah Anderson feasibly has, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six home games where he's got <clears> three <throat> votes. Yeah. And it could be more. So I love me some Noah Anderson top it for the Suns. Come on it. Uh, then is Matt Ralph. Stupid Sexy Flanders. Uh, it gets very weird after that. Who else have we got? Took. Took was off. I'd, I'd be going Flanders, I think, just because he stands out getting a lot of the ball. GWS. It's a big, big sound. Uh, Tom Green. Yeah. He's Lockie, a lock. Ahead of yeah. Lockie Whitfield. Yeah. I reckon third, Jesse Hogan. Yeah. yeah. I think when they're when you're booting that many goals, like you're just going to sneak it. And he's taking like big marks. He's not just getting them out of the back. He's kicking from all angles. Yeah. Got to be oh, Jesse. Yeah, that's the top three. Hawthorne is a good one too, because again, a lot Hard. of different contributor- mm. contributors. Giant Newcomb. Tops their count, maybe? Uh, yes. Dylan Moore? Nah, John Newcomb. John, John Newcomb, Newcomb was their most consistent player. Yeah. No one polled more coaches' votes in the last six games than him. Yep. Or maybe it was Cripps than him. Warple, Day. The third spot is Day a very, is a, very open one. Yeah, I, I'd be going Day, I think, because he, oh, when they won, he could have some two or three vote games over Warple. Nice one. Melbourne's a tricky one. Max Gorn. <laughs> Truck? They're not going to get that many votes this year, I reckon. Viney? Mm. Max Rivers. How is Oliver the fourth? Like on the on because the odds? you're as influential as he was this year. That's my point. No, I'm saying he shouldn't be that high. Like I think Cosy will, will get more than uh, Clayton Oliver. It's bizarre. Mm. North Melbourne Kangaroos. Oh, this is, a, this is a tricky one as well. LDU or Shees? I oh, got to be Shees. I think he had a lot more impact. Go on LDU. I think Shees. Like if I, if I'm actually being honest, I'd rather Cherry, but Cherry just won't get votes. Cherry, Cherry was the I best. Think comes third, maybe. Yeah, I'd be going Shees or LDU, Cherry in that order because LDU won the best and fairest, but Shees was just a better player. Port Adelaide power Zach Butters. Oh, this is the uh, sandwich bet, Alex. JHF. Yeah. What what are we? What a dollar thirty for like four dollars sixty for Horn Francis. See, what you should do is you should have ten bucks on Horn Francis because. No, but- the- but why? I don't think he's going to win that. Or to pay for your sandwich that you owe yeah. Alex if he does win. But he's not going to win, so I don't, I'm pretty confident that don't have to worry about that. This guy hates hedging. Yeah, I just hate Holland Francis. <laughs> Hedge your happiness. Don't. Oh, wanna... So funny Friday night. Swans fans just started booing him. 
Do oh, what? Wow, that's not yeah, funny. I didn't mention it on the Sunday show. The Swans fans booed Ken every time he came to the screen. Like, oh, boo! Why? Because he acted like an absolute moron last week. Oh. And then Horse came on the camera like, yeah! <laughs> so, Port Adelaide. Forgot about that. Butters, Jason Horn Francis. That's a legitimate race, I think. Yeah, that's the top two. But I think Butters takes him. Yep. Uh, three. Ollie Wines? Oh, or Rosie? Rosie missed a couple of weeks. Well, at least missed a week or two and then was just pretty ineffectual for a couple of weeks I after think that, at so. his best you'd still be taking Rosie. But Wines was pretty good. They go ahead. Himself. Will Richmond polar vote? <laughs> yes. Will Richmond polar vote? Nick Voston yeah. will bet get on that? two or three when they beat Sydney. Oh, yeah. So who who leads the count? Rioli? Daniel Rioli. Oh, I think Rioli, and you get really good odds on that. Yeah. Shea Bolton? No. Tim Taranto? Taranto was in and out. Bolton was so inconsistent. At least Rioli had some big games. Like yeah. the Saints one, he'll get at least two. He'll have a few twos, I think, Rioli. There's not many threes coming for uh, any Richmond nice. player. St Kilda, another one that's not going to be a massive, massive, massive count. Uh, but Jack Steele or Rowan Marshall's Marshall? the favourite. I like Marshall. Mm. Jack Steele can come from nowhere. I like Sinclair. Sinclair, Wangany Miller. Yeah. I don't think he gets enough of the points, but I think he has like a sneaky okay count for the Saints. So yeah, I wouldn't mind him in the top three. Yeah, I think Sinclair might lead that one. Uh, Sydney. That's How it. does it? Heaney? Yeah. Surely Heaney, yeah. yeah. Ahead of Errol, ahead of Chad? Yep, I reckon that's the three. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Errol had a chat. Yeah, oh, I agree with that one. I'm fascinated by West Coast. I'm, I don't I understand no the idea. odds, but it's just because- J-Train? Yo. Yo's favourite, yeah. I was just Whoa, thinking- Whoa, how do <laughs> McGovern. Not McGovern. 51 bucks. He was their best and fairest. I think he was their best player by a mile this year. But Backman just don't get love in the brown, though. He's not a midfielder, just, so he can't get votes. Yeah, it's, it's a midfielder. It annoys me award. so much. Like, he should be miles ahead of all those players, I think. McGovern at $51 to top it for the Eagles I'm honestly is tempted, pretty funny. But he did have a lot of big games in their losses. Yeah. <laughs> Yo's at $1.40. Jakey is at $3.70. Harley Reid at $9. Annoys you. Yeah. Amber Lamb. <laughs> Western Bulldogs, M. Bonton Pally. Yep. A. Trelaw. Hmm. T. Liberatore. Ed. Richards e. was really good, yeah. Richards. Richards. What do you reckon? I reckon Richards can run Bailey Dale, it might be a sneaky for the top three as well. Daily Bale. Come Daily, Daily, Daily Bale. Bale. <laughs> uh, I reckon he could be a sneaky, but I'd be going, yeah, Bont, Trelaw, Richards. And Trelaw, I think, will be a lot closer than people think to Bont because he was unbelievable. So what are the best value ones out of those team ones do we think to actually top their own you gotta team's look, count? you got to look at Richmond because yeah. their favourite is $3.75. So, so Real is at $4. I think that's that's really good. I'm really happy to back Hornet to knock off Butters. All right. Okay. Roel Marshall, a dollar forty-five at Jack Steele. I don't mind the Jack Steele one. He was very like Marshall was awesome. Mm. Yeah, how much do you trust Ruckman? I know. Where was the last? Was uh, Josh Dacos is last two dollars to win without Nick Dacos. That could be okay. The that's one. that's pretty good. Yeah, like that. Uh, Max Holmes five dollars for the Cats. I really like that. I think he was more consistent than Jezza, but he was solid Jezza, all year. He just doesn't look like a three-vote player, Max Holmes, because he's not True. flashy. Yeah. But, but we'll Carlton see. have without Cripps and Walsh, and Charlie's a dollar seventy-five. TDK three bucks. Ooh. So to run th- technically third. But yeah. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Nice. It's pretty good. Uh, we also have the over total votes, which is pretty fun. What? So Adelaide over their votes is 55. Brisbane, 85. So total team votes. Yeah, Adelaide you, yeah. not getting 55 votes. What? Well, there you go. There's I feel like that's not that high though. Blues, 81. Collingwood, 68. I'd probably go under Actually, there what's too. the Tigers one I'm very keen to, to 71 for Essendon. Frio, 82. That checks out. Yeah. Geelong, mm-hmm. 72 and a half. I'd be going over. They, they finished the season there. strong. Sun, 67. GWS, 82. Hawks, 81. Demons, 63. Under. Under, yeah. Ruse, 37. 37. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I'm sneaky. Oh, nah, probably Port, under. 86 and a half. I'm waiting for Richmond. Even 86 and a half for Port feels a bit... That feels a bit higher. Richmond, 22 and a half <laughs> oh. total votes. Can we go under? Under. That is not many Saints, votes, 65 and a half. Sydney, <laughs> 100.5. Mm, okay. Eagles, 100.5, wow. What well, do you think about it? If you know, No, I agree, yeah. It, I just think that's a, that's a dogs lot. Dogs, 86.5. <clears throat> Richmond, 22 and a half is hilarious. <laughs> I love the Demons under. Yep. Okay. Right, so those are all the teams. So we've sort of gone through our favourites. Chuck uh, it in a multi if you need, yeah. So a lot of those will be very short price favourites to top their thing. You can also multi them up off you go. Now, the fun stuff. 
the other top sport markets that we've been looking at, gentlemen, round six leader. Yes. This is the lock of all locks, isn't it? 100%. Has yep. to Isaac be Isaac Heaney. Yeah. Remember Let's last go. year was the last six rounds. It was Errol by a mile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, it's the, I think it's the same, but he's like short as short can be. That's yep. it. Round six leader. Isaac Heaney is still $1.15, but at the same time, that's a lock. Lock. Happy yep. days. We're all going Heaney. Yep. Round 10 leader. Isaac Heaney. Isaac Heaney. You got the first half is just going to be a dollar. Well, Heaney's $1.05 because I was I did a bit of counting just on his earlier. He could be, I think, as low as 16 as high as 22. Mm -hmm. Round 15 leader. We're all very different here. I've gone Crips, which is, he's at $4.20. Dacos is at four. Heaney is still at $1.80 mm. after 15. So if you look back at both uh, the Crips and Dacos first halves versus uh, Heaney, Crips is probably a bit more consistent than Dacos. Yep. So that's why it was a bit of a surprise. I thought that Dacos is ahead of him, but Crips also has like a little bit of a dip as yeah. Carlton sort of have like this sort of weird uh, moment around the 8, 9, 10 mark. So Dacos, I think, sort of starts flying from about there. He had a really good, yeah, this that sort of last third, or sorry, your last third of those round 15 rounds, uh, sorry, up until round 15. That's why I've got him as my round 15 leader. I don't think he's actually going to win the whole thing, but I think he can be leading then and then he sort of drops off a little bit at the end. Yeah. Alex? I'm sticking with Heaney because I think he I polls in every game to round 15. Jeez. Wait, every, every I know he'll be up there. Every game. Every game I think he gets at least one to three votes. That's crazy. There the are some, so looking at the predictors, there are some gaps there as well for him. Uh, I don't think he gets one in every – like if we look at some of the gaps, there is pretty it's consistently also, like yeah. – See, the thing for him is as well, he's never been a big polar before, so we're assuming that all of a sudden he's going to start Yeah, you need to be in the umpire's mind. Whereas yeah. if this was like – if Errol Goulden had this start to the year, you'd be like, yeah, because Errol was front of mind in the umpires in the back end of last year, whereas Heaney's like top vote year is like 10. It, really? Yeah. Okay. So he's never been a massive vote getter. So it'll be very interesting to see if from the first couple of games, if he's on nine votes after the first three games, it's like, okay. He's got a chance. <laughs> he's absolutely up and flying. So I think he can honestly poll all the way up to that Adelaide game in round 15. Jeez, every game. That's, that's a big call. Wait, 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 so Heaney? Calls? Heaney. Dacos round 15 later. So we're going to go Crips. Okay. There is I think it'll be really close by round 15. Because I think 15, well, Crips could get- Sydney with 13 and one at round 15 too. Yeah. Crips could also get a three in- Round 15, and yeah. that could pop him over the top there, I think. And that's when Amadi kicks the nine, so. Nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This. So that's the out round 6, 10, and 15 leaders. Player to poll the most three-vote games. So these are the okay. games where you've got the most threes. Lucky Neil is probably the one for me, where it's just like, as I've sort of hit on, he has this moment where he could just rip, especially after Brisbane's by. As I said, he could rip off eight out of 12 and like whatever he scores before then is almost gravy. So, uh, Stats Boy, what do you reckon? Uh, I'm going Cripper. I think you've got Neil where he's got a lot of really good players around him. I'm not trying to bag Carlton. Obviously, they had a decent end to the season. Uh, not not into the season, but they made finals. But Cripps, when Carlton played well, he is locked in to get the three votes. Like, I don't see Cripps getting a lot of one and two votes compared to him getting three because when he plays well, no one else was even near him on the Carlton team, I think. So I think he's more of a chance to get the most three votes. And I like without even looking into it, just just as a, a vibe on who's going to get votes off him on Carlton, even Sam Walsh wasn't like that great. So Cripper was just a mile ahead of everyone. I think else. there's a reputation thing with Cripps yeah. with the three votes. Carlton win. I think yeah. they'll be like, no one else impacted this game more than that dude. Yeah, that's my, that's my theory on the most three votes. Uh, the Neil thing as well. Like I think there's still, I've got question marks about like the sort of early on thing mm. for Neil and if he sneaks one or two early I'd be laughing for that because I still still reckon after that by one, two, three, four, five, six, after, seven yeah. is like easily on the cards Dacos though he has like some spectacular games so Alex what do you reckon? Uh, so I think it's Dacos because he was so far and away Collingwood's best player when they've won it's usually on the back of him doing something amazing even the games they've lost do they win enough games though for three votes? but it's also like it's the Gary Ablett thing as well we could get, yeah. we were just so far and away the best player on the ground like when they lost to the Gold Coast where he had those amazing goals up, up yeah, what, he was up there yep. so it's like that and then I also think Heaney as well because at the start I think it's also because you're looking we're doing this at the end of the season we it's are hard, forgetting yeah. getting how awesome his first six to seven weeks were. Yep. In, you know, five of those games, he's probably getting three votes. Yeah. So he, if he gets out to a flyer and it's like, oh, Cripps has got one, Neil's got one, he could just have enough of a lead where it's like he holds on. Can't chase him down? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. What's the number? How many he gets? Oh, how I haven't many, even looked at that. How many three um, votes of the winner? Think, let me think. Let me think. Of the winner or just for the, of, yeah, of for the, the most three vote games? The most three vote games. What's the number? Uh, how many games? I'm going to say eight for Cripper. Nine to ten. Ooh. That's a lot. I feel like I that's know. a lot. Yeah, I know. Because a lot why. of the games where you go, oh, they are locked for three votes, the umpires will just go, ah, two. Yep. That's why seven right, or eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going nine. Okay. I'm going to say eight as well. Yep. Eight, nine. All right. Play to poll votes in the most games. I so like the most easy. games yeah. that the poll votes in. Yeah. I've gone Lockie Neal. Oh, I think you can't not go Heaney because they won the most games. Like, yeah. he, you have way better chances. Everyone knows in the brown, though, that Sydney are going to have the most votes, as we've already said, and Heaney's going to get almost every game. Yeah. If I think he's going to poll in the first 14 games that he plays. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but and yeah. Then I, and then I think he polls against Collingwood and Essendon. He might poll a couple of votes against St Kilda when they lost as well. That has me like nearly The way seven, you're talking this, games. Heaney's going to win. That's what it sounds God, like. I hope not. <laughs> so if you guys believe Heaney, is it $15? Yeah. To poll votes in the most games. Really? I was struck I haven't by even looked Neil at being at that. 13 because I still think really? – This is why I, st- I think Neil is like right there on the count because – is Crips all or nothing? He cheaps out, Jeez. I think, Neil, early on, which mm. is like some, where did this come from? What the hell? In he very like classic Lucky like Neil's votes. And you're like, how is he pulling these votes in these horrible games for Brisbane? He's like, oh, he's Lucky Neil, man. What he does. <laughs> Even though he and Dunkley weren't that great in the first half, I still think he gets votes. Odds are wild. And he's at 13, whereas Crips is at $2.10. So Crips, at least you guys made the finals. Colin would miss the finals. I don't I don't see Dacos having the most uh, games votes like yeah. I think Dacos is more games or nothing votes. than Cripps I think Cripps because they won enough games yeah. he can still even sneak if a vote, he's not yeah. getting three he's still getting yeah. votes I don't know regardless. about Dacos being up there Heaney's great value I think I think oh, great value. And but at the same time the Heaney good one is pretty good yep alright first four favourite pick so this is just first four any order any order uh, got actually no that's box first four we've got box first four oh. after that this is the first four how does it all roll out I've got Cripps, Neil, Dacos, and Heaney. I, Cripps, Dacos, Heaney, Neil. All right. I've gone the same as Jim. Cripps, Neil, Dacos, Heaney. Just those four are a lock, but yeah, in the order of Cripps and Neil. I think Neil's going to surprise everyone compared to the odds. So, because I think. So that means our box first four is exactly the same. Yeah. It's the same four dudes. It's like, the same four guys. Just no one. Yeah. Because if you go on Heaney, he's going to be right up there. There's going to be, I think, a big gap from like. So this is, of course, including votes. In, ineligible people. Yeah. I reckon there's going to be like a four to five vote gap between those four and everyone else. I wish we could see the market of like what, so I know we've got overall winner, but I want to, I'd love to see what price Heaney, like if we just have most votes and see what Heaney, what what they spit out Heaney as. Hmm. So with that four, just about every predictor bar the AFL. Bond. AFL has Bond. Oh, but Chalor's going to steal votes. I'm really is, And Ed Richards. They Ed have Richards. Bond, Errol and Heaney hmm. all tied on 26. So Wait, how is Errol on the same as Heaney? Oh, that, that's, there's, that's dodgy there's by the a, AFL trying to get No, to but when like Heaney's <laughs> getting some of those three votes, Errol's getting two, and then there's a couple of games where Heaney gets two, Errol's getting but three. But at the start, Errol wasn't getting like that many votes he, compared uh, to Heaney. He, well, he might get, see the thing is yeah. he might pick up the ones or twos, because again, you've also need to think Errol's front of mind of the umpire. So if he's having 25 and kicking a goal, yeah. probably going to get one. Fair so enough. that boxed first four. Oh, I think that's, a, that's really good. Cripps, Dacos, Heaney, Neal is 340. That's if you really wanna, good. If you wanna, That's really good. If you want to get rid of Heaney and throw Bont in, it's actually five bucks, which yes. is like if you think that Bont tracks him down, I just don't Bont quite polls say. well again. Not that he's one, not one about it, probably deserves one, but yeah. All right. So with this in mind, box trifecta. So top three. Crips, Any order, yep. Cripps, Dacos, Neil. <laughs> I'm the same. Yeah. I'm Cripps, uh, Dacos, Heaney. <laughs> we're, we're very similar in all these. On the but it's fine. I don't mind. Yeah, you can definitely chop out Neil Heaney. If Heaney doesn't poll early, I'm my whole my whole betting sheet just down. Yeah. <laughs> the exactor, Cripps Neil. Yep, yeah, I'm the same Cripps and Neil. I'll go Cripps Dacos, but I'll also have something on Cripps Heaney just in case. Yep, I think Cripps gets him in that like the last two rounds. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll, yep. it would, I'm just excited because this is going to come down to the last it's, few rounds. It's going to be like late it's, as it now. It's like, going to be oh, sickening be when Heaney gets the three votes against Essendon and I'm just like, oh, You I know that this. groan that goes around the room when someone ineligible is like close like, to everyone? Everyone's like, Heaney, three votes. Oh, oh, we don't, we don't even get to clutch So, that. but what happens if we get to the last round and Heaney's two votes in front of Cripps and we know he's rested from that ILO game? Everyone's just, yeah. everyone in the room is just turtlenecking. Yeah. Right. Except for Cripps just going, oh, God. <laughs> Maybe not except for Dacos. He at least doesn't votes. have to write a speech or anything. I think this is like <laughs> Oh, most... God. The ch- the, I just f- 
figured it out. Jude Bolton's going to be there going, um, oh, mate, how, how tough's this? You know, you're up so high and you can't win. That's going to be an and awkward interview. And then he's just going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, it sucks that I missed out. Yeah. We got the granny yeah. to win. I'd rather win a flap. Those we interviews- know what he's going to say, Jude. We don't need to hear it. Those interviews are so awkward, yeah, at the Browner. <sighs> just go talk to Papley. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be. Actually, Go talk I was gonna, to Chad. I was going to say he'll be down in some beers, but he won't because he's got a great Yeah, I'll be on the water. They'll be in the uh, SCG uh, members yes, room. Yes. They, won't, they, won't be the, uh, they won't be in Melbourne. Same with Lucky Neil. you are like, winning three and I'm staying in Melbourne, sucker. Yeah, they'll Brisbane. have to send a brown though up to the, uh, up to the gather just in case. Well, they might have to send one to Sydney in case Errol just somehow <laughs> swans nah, in. he's not winning. <laughs> so... Who's going to be best on ground drinking wise? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we haven't actually talked about it. Can we bet on that? No, uh, no, we can't. No. Um, Actually, did you see um, Peter Dagos, jo- Josh Kennedy, and I can't remember yeah. who it was. Who's the retired Everyone. player that's yeah. getting hammered? Tomahawk, because he's just a bit sad. Not bad. Yeah, actually, Je- Jezza. <laughs> Jezza. Jezza. Jezza's got a night away from the farm and the cows. <laughs> All right. So, what else Zachter, got? Cripps Neal, Quinella, Cripps Neal. Yep. Uh, you're Cripps, Dacos. Cripps Dacos, Dacos, Cripps Heaney. Yep. yep. Top three finish, favorite pick. $2 yep. for Lockie Neal. That is great value. It's I think, crazy because I know that he's what eight bucks to win the whole thing, but I think he should be a lot closer with the finish he has. Alex has gone handy because yep. he's just on the handy train. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think of once. Top five. No. <laughs> top five finish favorite pick. This is good. These are a lot more fun. Yeah, and a lot more value. We're all different in these ones. Caleb Sarong three dollars ninety, or Zach Butters eleven. Yeah, I liked. I really like Sarong because at his best, no one like looks as flashy or as dominant from Freer. Alex. Errol, just because I think he yeah. could be the one. If the Heaney stuff goes awry, it's Errol that's going to be getting those votes. Well, yeah. Hang on. Top three now for Zach Butters is 21. No, we're doing top Oh, we're doing top five. Oh, top five. Yeah, we've already Jeez. done top, top three. Top three finish, yeah, check it out. <laughs> yeah. No, I think- top three, yeah, top five finishes Butters at 11. I still just, yeah, I'm all over that. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going uh, Tom Green, four bucks for top five. I just think, obviously, the Giants. He might be the one that gets real hammered. Yeah, maybe, yeah. But he he just got so many 30-touch games, so many clearances. You go, oh, who was the best on ground when when the Giants win? Tom Green. Everybody, he's just going to get a lot of votes and sort of sneak under the radar because no one talks about GWS. The other one is like Trelaw at 14. If you do think – yeah. like, I know that you're all, all about, ah, Bont won't poll as well because Trelaw's stealing them. If Trelaw's stealing them at a rate that he could – Maybe top 10. I don't know about maybe. top five, though. Mm. All right. How about top 10? Yeah. Favorite pick? Zach Butters, $2.20. He makes the top 10 for me. Easy. Ooh, and Alex, Alex is just on the opposite man. On his, <laughs> on his anti Zach Butters platform. <laughs> he looks like right Ramsey Bolton. <laughs> Where have I yeah. heard that before? Yeah. <laughs> I did yell that out on Friday night when he got elbows. It looks like Ramsey Bolton. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, skin a dude alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm with the Hornet, top 10. Nice. Stats uh, boy? Nora Anderson. I think you guys would be back in that as well. At home, like, I he's going to have like 26 votes. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, three quarters no, of the way Anderson. through the year, we're like, he could win it. I don't think he's going to win it, but he's going to get so many votes at home because all those wins they had. He was the best player almost every time. That, like, Rao was not impressive this year. Tuke wasn't that impressive this year. Tuk Noah Tuk Anderson. Flo? And uh, Flanders doesn't have as much impact as Noah Anderson, so he's going to get Anderson, votes. So Anderson has to get by outside of that top three, four, five. So yeah. he has to get by Caleb Sarong, Butters, Bont, Zeret, Errol, Potentially Tom Green, Chad. Yeah, uh, it's I think Hornet, they can all fit in there. Like yeah, Hornet, it'll be, I think Hornet and uh, Anderson will be yeah, fighting for that top 10, yeah. 12 sort of position. All right, top 10 finish, favorite pick, as 20. we've sort of gone through. Top 20. Top 20 now. Horn okay. Francis, easy for me. Yep. Alex. Jesse Hogan. Whoa, Colin Medalist. Or maybe. When some of the game, like the game against Freya, three votes. There's a couple of games where he's kicking, you know, six, five, five, five. It's just going to be Hogan, couple of votes there. Because the top 20 may not need to be a lot of votes this year because the top end is going to take so many votes. Yes. Where if he gets to 13 or 14 votes. He could like, still be top 20, yeah. How do you get 20th on 14 votes? I like that. Stats boy? Yeah, I'm going Jezza Cameron. Even though I've said Max Holmes before, so maybe I'm saying Max Holmes top 20 as well. I forgot to mention that. But I just think, yeah, when Geelong won, the games that he wins off his own boot, he's, he's either going to get nothing or like three votes. So I reckon he's top 20 for sure. Love it. Top 20s, your favorite entire oh. market out of all of the markets on topsport.com.au stats boy. Each year, it's so fun. This your one. favorite one is you love digging. What do you love digging for? To poll a stats. vote. Stats value. Just great value to poll a vote. You can you can just go wait. It, it is 
uh, talking about turtlenecking, you're waiting the whole night for a player to get one vote. But it's funny, those players that don't really get votes, and if they're at the thing, they yeah. everyone gives them a cheer because they've never really got a like vote. Joel like, Marty got three for playing yeah. one and half like, of football. Oh, he's finally got a Brownlow vote. Errol a Brownlow. <laughs> like, there were so many Ruckman, I remember, that would go to the Brownlow, and someone goes, I've been to six Brownlows, I've never got a vote. <laughs> so then as soon as they get hey, a vote... hold on. Our best mate, Cheeks... Still hasn't got a vote really? in the Brownlow. So, okay, maybe that would be a good fit no, to pull a vote. No, he's at absolute certainty to get a vote in the Battle of the Bridge out at NG, yeah. if not before that game. So is he on this uh, market? No, he's not because he will absolutely he's get a vote. A so my... He's played 115 games without a vote. That's, That's crazy. But this year, like against GWS, he had 32 yeah. and 20 contested possessions and 11 clearances. Sure. Guarantee yeah, a vote. Like, that that's not Lockie him. Lockie McCurdy and I will start the Brownlow Royal Rumble if he doesn't get one. <laughs> Anyway, to pull a vote. Sorry. No, that's right. I'm going uh, Marby or Chol. $3.80 with top sport. I think that's really good. He kick. F- I think he's only got one or two games where he has a chance. He kicked four goals. Uh, one game, I think it was against the Tigers, I believe. Yeah. Obviously, a bit of a downhill scare sometimes for Marby. But he had a great year. Really consistent uh, for once. Didn't go too well in the finals. But to pull a vote, surely he gets one. Like He had a few games where he had a lot of score involvements and just had a lot of impact. It's a riskier one, but I don't, I don't mind. Yeah. Alex? I'm going to go to Logan McDonald. Because yeah. I think there's two or three games he may get a couple in. He kicked four against Collingwood in round two, <laughs> and he may sneak one, but f- they were all out the back, but it's like smart position. The umpire's like, oh, yeah, he kicked four. He kicked four against North and had 16 possessions and took a bunch of marks. And then even the last round against Adelaide, I know there was not much going on in that game, but he kicked three and had 17 touches and took a lot of marks too. So I reckon he can sneak one, and he's $3.80. Nice. Thriller. Oh, I was going to... Actually, I wrote him down yesterday. $2.10. That's really good. Riley Thrill Thrill. He what dominated game? against Geelong. Thrill, he sm- three he goals. at least three games. Yeah. And I'm like, let's do it. Let's go Thriller. They did lose uh, that one against Geelong, but he just has to get one vote. Exactly. Riley Thrill Thorpe. Don't mind that. One vote. That's all I need. Let's <laughs> go. You're doing that in seven games. It's just a funny one to ha- have a bet He's on. Him. You good. get... You're like, just need to get one vote. Easy. All right. Well, final winning margin. Ooh. Between the top guys, you can also go the draw. I went the draw last year. I remember I was so in on that, but one nah. to two votes is the one that I've landed on. Stats boy, what yeah, I, I agree. I wrote down just one vote, but on the actual betting market, it'll be yeah, one to two votes. I think so. A tie is four twenty. Noise. It's always that. Yeah, it's very tempting because it's going to be right down to the wire. Alex Dos two. Yes. Yep. Nice. Dollar ninety for one to two votes, which feels pretty bang on because it's going to be that close. Yeah. I also don't mind the tie. 420. Let's go. I think I yeah usually bet on that as well. Uh, team to pull the pull the most votes. Sydney have just <laughs> rampaged ahead with this at dollar oh three, which is no surprise. Load yeah. up. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> but I think this was that yes. was sort of like the thing with the Heaney uh, aspect that Alex has banged on about throughout this. We were talking about this prior to the season, like the cannibalism amongst the two, uh, amongst the three. Sort of top. Yeah, notch. But Heaney went to another level. See, the thing sure. is, he was think, that good. Yeah, but Chad's three games, <laughs> he's getting threes. Yeah, and then it's nothing. It's, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. It's diamonds and rocks with Chad. Nice one. All right. Were there any other ones that you wanted to have a look at? There's most votes last eight rounds, which I feel That's like a, Lockie Neal should be yeah. romping home in a dollar fifty. Uh, Dacos is also eight for that. Cripps is at twelve. Jesse Hogan at twenty three. Tom Green seven. Uh, Anything else that you wanted to do, shout out? No, I think we've covered no. all that. I was just happy we got the poll to one vote. Very nice. Market there, so that was good fun. The other really good one. What is it? Head to heads. Head to heads. Oh, let's go. These are just tiers of players against each other. Basically, oh, head to head. Some of them are so random. I love it. Andy Brayshaw versus Jordan Dawson. Brayshaw. Brayshaw, for sure. They won a lot more games. He's $1.55 to Dawson, two thirty eight. So if you like your Frio, boom. Uh, ben Keys, Cam Rayner. That is awesome. I don't understand why this is tied. I know Ben Keys will have a few three, but it's going to be Cam Rayner. He dominated the second half of the season. Yeah, but will he get votes? He was I pretty think good. he will. I think he will. I think Rayner pops up more like, than we think. I'm just going to go Keys just to be different. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take Rayner. Zorko versus Whitfield. Oh. That is a fascinating one because Whitfield was really good the second half. Zorko yeah. was as well. Whitfield. I think Zorko gets out to a bit of fly. I don't mind Zorko. I'll go, yeah, Whitfield, because there's not as many people stealing votes from uh, a good point. the Giants, man. Sheasel versus Stupid Sexy Flanders. Oh, it pains me to say, Sheasel has way more impact, but Flanders had a lot more wins. So <laughs> North aren't going to get too many votes, so I'm going to have to lean towards Flanders. It's a pretty good point. I feel yeah. like she, uh, Sheasel Like who you're taking? You're better. taking Sheasel, yeah. He was better. Sam Flanders mm. played in better games, even though he might not have been the best. Yeah. I think he'll get a lot of one and two votes, whereas Sheasel, even when he dominates, we lost probably, so one vote. Mm. 
I'm going Flanders. Sadly. I might go she still. Yeah, yeah I, think she's I, I don't I think mind. She sneaks out of I think she's. We just don't win enough games. Jack Sinclair versus Dylan Moore. Oh. The market everybody's <laughs> waited for. <laughs> this is great. Sinclair. Wait, for we me. get a better one later. I've just scrolled down. <laughs> Sinclair yeah. for me. Uh, Dylan Moore. I'll go Dylan Moore in the wins. Very influential. Yep. Someone should be writing these down. Uh, <laughs> Jack Viney versus Willem Drew. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good fun matchup. I'm going to go Drew. I, Jack Viney just – Willem Drew is a massive underdog yeah. in this one as well, 225. I think he sneaks a few ones. Yeah, I'm going to go Viney. Yeah, Rosie and Butters will just take the port. Yeah. I'm going True. Viney. But sure. they do, they're not going to get many votes, Melvin. Viney just – Warple? Yo. Ooh. I'm going yo. I just don't oh. – there's nothing memorable about James No, Warple was really consistent this year. I'm going yeah, Warple. Yeah, but he's just not memorable. <laughs> J Train versus Joey Duckett. Oh, this Joey Duckett. Imagine they played on each other in a game. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, Joey, Joey they won a lot of games. He was way better than for longer than J yeah. Train. Yeah. Lockie Neal, Isaac Heaney. Heen man. Oh, I'm going Neal. Got just, Neal just. I've got I think Neal. he can have the chance of winning it. Matt Rowe, JHF. Hornet. Hornet. Yeah, Hornet. Certainly. Maybe yeah. Matt Rowe didn't need enough grass this year. He Matt wasn't Rowe that good this year. Had enough good games no. to tip Hornet. Out of there. Certainty. Nick the Lizard Blakey versus Jordan Clark. Oh, Clark, I think. We're going to lead towards Clark too. Yeah, same here. Even though Blakey, Blakey was – Blakey was all Australian, wasn't he? No, yeah. all Australian. Yeah, no, all Australian. But – Love yeah, the lizard. There's just so many guys that poll votes at Sydney. Yeah. Noah Anderson, Chad Chunley Warner. Uh, Anderson. Anderson. Even though they only will get – yeah, he'll only yeah. get votes at home, but – Anderson. I think he does him. just get him. Yeah. My beloved Ollie Dempsey versus Whoa, Holly Reed, Babylon. Whoa, Holly Reed, oh. Babylon. He might pull more votes than North Melbourne. Whoa, Holly Reed. Holly Reed, dollar seventy five favorite over Ollie Dempsey. Yeah, that's probably going to be who gets six votes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep up my Holly Reed hate. Ollie Dempsey. I love Ollie <laughs> Dempsey, but I think Holly Reed might get it. Same him. here. That just yeah. doesn't win enough games. I don't know. We'll see. Danger versus Toby Green. Sure. This is so hard. They were both Danger not amazing. Is nah, Danger will beat Toby favorite. Green. I, Toby Green didn't do, much, didn't do that this much year. I yeah. I'd be going Danger. Yeah. I'm going Danger. Finally, Zeret Sarong. This is a. Hard this one. might be the best one. Mm. Like how he left it to last. Zeret Caleb Sarong. I'm going Sarong because I think he's going to have a lot more. <laughs> I'm going to go Zeret. He was Essendon's only good player this year. I'm going to go with Zeret too because I think Sarong was pretty good. For Early on in the season, there's a couple of games that yeah. Essendon lost, Oof. and you're just like, Zeret's yeah, Zeret's well. getting a vote. Yeah, fair. But I'll, I'll go. I'll guess wrong. Nice one. All right. Anything else you want to hit on, gentlemen? What are we talking about? So our winner is yeah, who? Who are we picking as a as a collective? Are we going? I think, uh, we've, I think we've landed on Crips. I think he was the best player, most consistent all year. Like I don't get the hype around Dacos at the moment. This has been you're my a hater. Point. So no, I love Dacos. <laughs> Before he we choked <laughs> on that, as you said, yeah. definitely. I love <laughs> That's been Dacos finally poisoning yeah. it. <laughs> The strangest aspect, I think, about the last two weeks has been the predictors. Very, changing. I know. As people have like gone, hang on a second, markets are changing for Dacos, and Dacos has like slipped ahead in some of the predictors where he wasn't mm. prior to that. I so, don't know, that's a bit fishy. The weird thing as well, I guess, is like consensus now has Dacos, I think Harold Sun has Dacos with the win. ESPN, I think, has Crips with the win. I think AFL has Crips Dacos tied because why wow. not? Uh, and Betfair has Dacos Crips. I think Dacos ahead of Crips, and away we go. And I think as we look at with the top sport odds, like it is very close. Two dollars fifty for neck. Crips and two dollars seventy for Dacos. So so Crips is now actually slipped back ahead of Dacos in where top sport. Yes, it actually moved. I think Dacos was actually the favorite mm. uh, last week with top sport. So. I don't know. As a value bet, though, Neil is going to be right up to eight dollars fifty. Like just a little sneaky something on that. You've definitely got to like because mm. that's such a right? big margin for what we think is going to be a lot closer. Because as we saw or last year, Alex like, was as about. I said earlier, like if Neil is pulling votes early, he can ramp H home and actually win the damn thing. I just am weirded out by the Dacos stuff. I just yeah. don't know if he has the consistency. Yeah, in the like you and think then he lost back to so the start many of his year. Games. Like they were just like, hey, is Dacos any good? And then it kicks in, and it really kicks mm. in. But they were still also losing games. It was a lot better last year. So, okay, Dacos. Yeah, Alex, what are you? What are you reading? What are you? Reading? <sighs> I just hope Heaney doesn't lead the lead the race. As a Swans fan, not no, no, not just that, but I just I don't think it's great for the game. Yeah, in general, when that happens, yeah. Especially, but he shouldn't especially, have got rubbed out. Yeah, but like <laughs> if he'd like if he'd full on deck someone yeah, yeah. or slung, I'd be like, yeah, cool. But for how he got suspended, you just hope he doesn't. 
lead. Oh, okay, I yeah. just hope because I don't want to have that discussion again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to talk about it next week. If he, yeah, he but wins. then you've got the if you if yeah, he Wednesday loses, show will Wednesday suck show, if yeah. that happens. If he like, loses by like two votes, but oh, yeah, whatever. Just because they played North Melbourne in the game that he missed as well. Yeah, he would have got a lot of votes in that one. <sighs> yeah, I just. Please, Patrick Cripps, just win it. <laughs> so, just also because it'll stop Collingwood fans from being uns- insufferable as well. They are at the moment. Their current thing is, uh, oh, I guess winning flags isn't for uh, Ollie Henry. It's like, shut up. You didn't <laughs> make finals. Go outside and touch grass, you losers. Oh, bang. So Carlton wins. Cripps scores. Yep. Collingwood wins. Dacos. Dacos tends to score the three. That's probably why Neil's not... Brisbane, yeah. there's probably a bit more of a fair split, and I guess yeah. that's, why depth, these, that's why this top three is, like, where it is. That's why yeah. they're in the grand final as well. I just... The Neil thing just hovers over the back of my brain. Just, yeah. hey, he's going to do it. The fact that he won it last year, in a surprise twist, here we are again. Yep. So... With all those odds in mind, you can go check out topsport.com.au for all of those Brownlow markets that we've just banged on. The head-to-heads are awesome. Everything. You've got the bo- your top threes, your trifectas, your boxed fours. Teams. The team by team. You can actually go round by round as to what you're actually scoring in a yeah. bunch of the game. Oh, there's it's a ca- shoot. I can't <laughs> wait for the – because I don't know if it's out yet, but when if we get that Adelaide uh, game where Marty kicks five – uh, no, I'm sorry. I just want to have a couple of bucks on Brody Grundy because he had like 50 oh, hit outs. And but tw- surely if you kick nine, I know, but, three votes. But my theory was if it wasn't for Grundy, the footy wouldn't have got there. Yeah. Because who they, they played you in Ruck, basically. Sure. The Crows. I used to be a Ruck. Yeah, yeah. that was good. <laughs> Riley Thrill Thorpe to get a vote. Let's go. I'll be right. Yeah, I'm like, pretty oh, Chad, oh. That night, Chad Warner kicked four and had 27 against the Dogs. Dollar one. Load up. <laughs> no, no. I saw that. I'm saying that. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to hit on? No. Other fa- what's your favourite out of all of these? Favourite bet out of everything that we've hit on? Uh, Jason Horn Francis top the Port Adelaide votes. All right. Lockie Neal top three, I think. That's just, that's just a lock. I think, I think I mean. Butters top five is probably still my favourite. Nice. I like that a lot. All right, there you go. That is the Brownlow Show for the AFL Today Show, brought to you by Top Sport, our friends over there. They've done a great job. All of those markets are unreal too. Like the game by game stuff, oh. you can just get lost in there. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, but either way, we will be back with more AFL Today Show on the Midweek Manda Show. A couple of days' time, we're going to be talking more about the grand final between the Lions and the Swans. It's going to be fun as. So thank you to Alex Nolly for jumping on. Cheers, Jim. All decked out in all Sydney all the time. <laughs> all week, baby. All <laughs> week. I'm just... I re- it is weird that he refused to put on the dress, you know? Yeah. Like, he did look just, good in it, yeah. He looked fantastic. Yeah. Probably a little bit too much leg for my life. <laughs> that's fine. I got too really self-conscious. Like, I, I saw myself in the mirror and just had a moment. <laughs> I think you just saw yourself in the mirror and went, that's a bit too good. <laughs> <laughs> Am I too on, he says? That's a bit weird. <laughs> that's a different podcast. This is diving to the can't psyche. Stop. It's the family guy. They can't stop looking at myself. So gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Crash the car. Yeah, this is a look into the psyche of one Alex Donnelly. Oh, jeez. Uh, and thank you, Stats Boy, for actually dressing up just like me. Thank you. Yeah, felt good. Penguins call me Andrew. Andrew. We're, just, we're rolling straight into the brown there from Andrew Gill and Dylan. We're yeah. going, this is the red carpet, basically. Alex can't Next year we'll be doing it live from the red carpet. Check it out. <laughs> they right. should have us on the red carpet instead of Daisy Thomas. Just be like, who's that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What do you do? Who are you again? Instead of saying, what do you wear? It's like, how many tins are you going to yeah. have tonight? Hey, Cripps, drink this beer with me. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Cripper, we're doing chewies. <laughs> It'll be awesome. All right, remember to smash a like across all the socials for the AFL Today Show. See us doing lots of fun stuff. Get around us on YouTube, Face the IG, TikTok, and X. And, of course, get around all the other shows that we do. AFLW Today, Cricket Today, Football Today, NBA Australia, NFL Australia, and Hold All Tickets. All the good stuff. Get around them all like Lockie Neal possibly getting around a third Third Brownlow. Yuck. Rarefied well right? Yeah. I just, Crips two times, I'm happy with that. Yep. Dake Olsen, he's third year, sure. Third year? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like, makes sense. Why not? Neil, three times? Come on, He's man. been very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll anyway, that's it. We'll catch you later this week for more AFL Today. More grand final talk. Until then, let's go, Cripper! <laughs> Woo! Brownlow's back. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.